Hi there, here's a macro question as part of our series of revision multiple choice questions. We take a single topic, ask a question, have a go at it yourself, we then give you the right answer and the correct explanation. So here's our question, this time it's about the simple multiplier effect. We're told we have a closed economy with no government and we're told the equilibrium level of GDP is 22 billion but the full employment level of GDP is 25 billion. Extra information we're given is that the, to reach full employment at 25 billion would require an injection of 1 billion. What can we deduce from that information? This is your chance to have a go at the question. Press the pause button when you're ready. I'll be back in a few seconds with the right answer. Okay, how did you get on with this question? The right answer to this question is... It's B, the marginal propensity to consume is two-thirds... Let's look through the intuition behind the correct answer. Well, we're told that it's a closed economy with no government. Therefore, we can ignore taxation and imports as leakages. Therefore, there's only one leakage from the circular flow, in this case, savings. Now, the multiplier in a closed economy with no government is 1 over the marginal propensity to save, 1 over the NPS, or 1 over 1 minus the marginal propensity to consume. Keep in mind, of course, that the marginal propensity to consume plus the propensity to save must equal 1. Now, we're told the economy needs an injection of 1 billion for the equilibrium level of GDP to rise by 3 billion. So, therefore, we can work from that that the coefficient of the multiplier must be 3. We know the formula for the multiplier is 1 over the marginal propensity to save. So, 1 over MPS must be 3. Therefore, the marginal propensity to save must be one third rearranging. Well, given that the MPS plus the MPC always equals one, if the marginal propensity to save is a third, the marginal propensity to consume must be two thirds. And that's the reason why that's the correct answer to this question about applying a simple multiplier.